Mubina, what are you looking at? I'm actually looking at meat. Yeah, this is halal meat. Our grocery section actually has a halal section. So we shop here. But one thing I do want to clarify is that everyone thinks that just because something says halal, Muslims can eat it. That's not true. Technically, it is halal, but is it actually? I mean, you can actually see the difference. This is mina. It's sabiha by hand. Let me see that. Sabiha by hand. So it's it says it on the package. Hand. Yeah, so that's something that we can actually eat. I personally follow the opinion that anything hand slaughtered is something that we can eat in terms of meat. So it has to be chicken or beef that is hand slaughtered for me to eat it. Now if you come here, this brand, Zabiha Halal, is actually not slaughtered by hand. So even though it says halal, I put it back because I can't eat it. I honestly don't trust machine slaughter because firstly they have to stun the animal before they even slaughter the animal. And then once the animal is being slaughtered, the Allahu Akbar in the background is an actual recording. I don't trust it. I don't trust machines, guys. So, so it's not an actual person who's who's doing it. It's just a machine. As far as I know, it's a recording. And it, it plays Allah Akbar for every single animal, but I don't trust it. But does this one say by machine? The green one here? It doesn't say by machine, but it doesn't say by hand. And I know Zabiha is by machine. So how would you know that? The, like their website actually says it. Or you can call them and find out about that. You have to do your research, but this is very obvious. If it doesn't say by hand, I don't buy it. It's as simple as that. Okay, so next to the halal section, there's the haram meat, right? Yeah. How much more expensive is the halal meat compared to the haram meat? If someone wanted to buy it. that much more expensive. I mean, you can even tell the difference between the prices in machine slaughter. You guys can see this here. Right? The hand slaughter will be a little bit more because it requires actual person doing it versus machines doing it, like for mass production. So yeah, but it's not by a lot. It's just a few dollars more, which is okay. It's still affordable. What if your family members or friends eat machine slaughter? Do you eat at their house? So some of my family members used to eat machine slaughter and we didn't eat meat at their house when they did that. They don't eat it anymore, but they used to. And so we just said we don't eat that kind of meat. And if my friends do it, they kind of know that I don't eat machine slaughter and they'll inform me that something is machine slaughter or not. It's very simple. It's not that hard. I mean, you just let them know. And if you don't know that they're eating machine slaughter, ask them. And if you forget, it's fine. I mean, anything accidental is fine if you eat it by accident. Okay. So just because a package says it's halal, doesn't mean that it's halal for all Muslims to eat. Exactly. Like, see, mina zabiha by hand. It's zabiha by hand, and these are actually chicken uh, breakfast yeah, strips. breakfast strips. These are really good, guys. But at least I know this is halal, so. Thank you.